general consensus among pre-searing players is you shouldn't really go and hunt char in the Northlands until you're at least level 7. So that requires a fair bit of grinding with uh, level 3 monsters out in explorable areas south of the wall until you reach that point. Which can get a little bit tedious, especially if you've done it plenty of times. So I just wanted to see whether level 5 was actually a viable level to go out and do a full char run without dying. Now I'm just using a Rin blade that you can get from the uh, weaponsmith in Ascalon City. Um, I do have the glacial blade there of course, but it won't be much use right now because my swordmanship requirement is nowhere near those nine points that you need. Uh, I have that serrated shield which won't uh, give me much defense anyway, but the minus two physical damage still applies, so I thought that would still be quite useful. I'll be using my Imp, of course, and I'll be using Ben Wolfson for some extra DPS. So with all that combined, I feel like if I play my cards right and I take it slow and I try not to take any chances, I should be fine. I chose level five because that tends to be the level I naturally reach after I've gone round and collected all the Crichton armor, all the collector's armor. And at that point, you really just want to get going and start hunting Char but you're always having to grind those last few levels before you feel safe enough to do so. So this is just a little experiment. I wanted to see if level five is actually viable to go out and do a full char run without uh, dying, essentially. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's have a go. Obviously this group of Gruul always tend to get triggered to come up this hill as soon as you've collected them. So I'm not going to take any chances, uh, we need to aggro as few enemies as possible, so let's take them out first. More often than not, the single thing that dooms you when facing off against a group of Char is that initial spike in damage that they deal uh, as soon as you aggro them. So I'm going to send my pet first. Uh, to receive that spike and to split up their focus. Hopefully a lot of them will focus on the pet for enough time for us to be able to take out a few of them. And as soon as one or two of the char are gone out of the four, then uh, I think we'll be golden. For some extra safety, I'm gonna try and keep Troll Ungwen active uh, while fighting. Luckily the Shaman and Kao are busy fighting my bear, so the fact that their focus is split, as I said, uh, gives us far more survivability. Okay, as my first group, that actually went amazingly well. I got lucky that there weren't any hunters. Hunters are going to be uh, the bane of my life for this run, for sure. I'm gonna have to uh, obstruct their attacks with uh, walls and, and the landscape and stuff like that if, you know, if I want any chance whatsoever of uh, surviving. So uh, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to strategize wisely for those ones. But luckily most of the groups won't have too many of them. Another thing I don't want is for them all to target Ben as well. That is, uh, just as bad as if they were targeting me, because without Ben, our DPS goes down drastically, uh, and it will make the entire run a lot more difficult. So uh, the more I can spread them out uh, and get them to target different members of my party, the better. This group looks pretty similar to the last one, so hopefully if I just kind of lure them over to this wall over here, uh, if the damage gets a little bit too intense, I can always just retreat behind it. Being able to choose when you want to take a break from taking damage is a really powerful tactic in order to stay alive at such a low level in the Northlands. Um, so obviously I'm just retreating right now, hitting Troll, hitting Healing Signet, and then getting back into the fight.
Now obviously this group did have a hunter, but because I was able to obstruct his attacks for most of the fight using that wall, by the time he was actually attacking me, most of the rest of this group was uh, down. So it makes everything suddenly a lot more easier to uh, deal with. Okay, there is a hunter in this group as well, so I don't want to risk it. I'm going to go around the side here and use uh, these hills to block his attacks, just in case everything gets a little bit too intense. Ben and the imp sorted out the shaman there, so with the hunter on his own, I'd say we've pretty much got this in the bag, which is good. Let's take out this blade storm real quick. I don't want to take on this group head on. Um, I don't know, the, the hunters just always really scare me. Obviously there isn't two of them, luckily. But uh, just to be safe, I'm going to use this hill on the right here as cover, just in case I need it. Let's do the same over here, use this hill, this little cliff or ledge. Uh, to block their attacks, just in case it's needed. I'm just trying to position Ben right on the edge there so his attacks still hit. Uh, you can see I didn't quite manage to do it with the Imp, which is unfortunate, but um, Ben's still hitting, so it should all still be fine. And there you go, level six already. So this is clearly not quite a level five run in, in its entirety, but bearing in mind I started at 0% towards level six uh, at the very beginning, um, it's clear that that's quite impossible to achieve. You just level up way too quickly. But um, of course level six is still gonna be a challenge, so let's let's push forward. Now I really can't take Swag Skin's flare attacks and if I get too close, he's gonna trigger a lava font as well. So I think I'm better off just staying back, trying to dodge his flares as well as I can, although, as you can see, I'm failing quite miserably at that. Um, and then just let the imp and Ben take him out. I can see that final patrol group coming back, so let's get into position at the top of this hill here and wait for them to reach this point. There are two hunters which uh, is a bit scary, but uh, we've got this hill here to protect us, so I'm thinking we're gonna be fine. Luckily, both of them are focused on trying to destroy the side of the cliff there. So we are good to uh, attack the shaman. I could probably be a little bit more aggressive here. I probably didn't have to retreat back to the ledge, but um, I just don't want to take any chances and Better to go slow and safely than to get wiped out. So a uh, quick little heal up and then we'll go back in. And there we go. I think uh, the rest of this altar here is gonna be relatively easy to clean up. Um, I don't know how far I'll go. I think I'll just stick to this altar, maybe a couple of the groups just behind. And I think I'll leave it there. Thank you. 
and with blood veins, heal area, healing you as well, this guy has pretty much no issue at all. And the same with Red Eye as well, he's down in a few seconds. And now just a couple of blade storms uh, on the flanks there and we should be pretty much done. Now this final little group of course have two char hunters. Um, so that could prove difficult, especially if all three of them target me. Um, so let's try and send my bear in first to uh, to receive that spike, and then from there we should be we should be fine. I can of course always use the altar uh, to block their attacks if it all gets a little bit too much. So hopefully we'll uh, be able to wrap this up pretty soon. And there we go. Totally possible to uh, do a char run at level five. The cliffs and the walls, all that kind of stuff, is pretty much an essential strategy if you're uh, trying to do it at this lower level. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, I hope it gave you some insight into what you guys can do as well uh, if you're trying to char run at low levels like this. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, if you found this video uh, useful, please drop me a like and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. All right, thank you very much. See you later.